कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू प्रभु जय जय You know, bro. Go ahead. Can uh, rolling. Hi, Krishna. Everyone, welcome to today's 
tobacco sangha program and uh, as on every monday we are very very happy to welcome his holiness jayadri maharaj swami who is looking after our whole tobacco community by just residing in tobacco and casting his merciful glances on all of us so we're very very grateful and request maharaj to continue with bhagavad katha thank you nilamani prabhu Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Shami Niti Namini Namaste Sarasati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashta Tadesha Tarani Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Vanchako Patarubhyas Chakrapa Sindhu Pyevacha Titanam Pavanebio Vaishnavebio Namonam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Thank you all for coming again. My respects to all, and especially to Purusharta Prabhu. I don't know if I have any other god brothers or god sisters on, on this call, if so, Thunderbud Pranams. We're at 118.43. The Rishi uh, Shamik has, uh, is distressed that his a foolish son has cursed uh, the king. And now he's uh, upbraiding his son. He's expressing his mind. Alakshamane naradeva namni pritangapanav ayamanga lokaha tadahi chaura prachuro vinakshat irakshamano vivavarat my dear boy, the Lord who carries the wheel of a chariot is represented by the monarchical regime. And when this regime is abolished, the whole world becomes filled with thieves who then at once vanquish the unprotected subjects like scattered lambs. In this, uh, section of Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, well, first let's, let's go this way. Uh, Nada Deva Namni. The king is meant to be the representative of God, Nada Deva. He's, he's Deva, the Supreme Lord, in the form of a human being, just as the spiritual master represents the Lord for the disciples, for the parents represent the Lord for the children. The king represents the Lord for the citizens of the state. So, Nadadeva Namni, uh, Rutangapana, and he's uh, the, yes, the representative of Rutangapani, the person who uh, carries the, uh, well, Rutanga, the, um, Chariot wheel in his hand, I would think. Yes, that's what Prabhupada says. Who carries the chariot wheel in his hand, who, who vanquished or who challenged uh, Bhishma Dev by carrying the, the wheel of a chariot, the Tangapani. So the, the Lord uh, is represented as the king, and uh, Alakshamane, Arakshamano. Uh, Alakshamana, when, when the king becomes, drops out of sight, when he's uh, out of the scene, then Arakshamana, then the citizens become uh, unprotected. Arakshamana, the, the function of the king is, is protection. Uh, kshatriya, kshatriya means who, kshatriyate, who protects from harm. So in the absence of the Kshatriya leader in the absence of the king, Alakshamano, Alakshamane, Arakshamana. 
the uh, citizens will be uh, subject to, uh, well, uh, plundering uh, because, uh, tada, at that time, he uh, most certainly, uh, charu pachura, the whole society becomes filled with thieves. Thieves become abundant. We uh, saw that in the narration concerning King Anga and uh, his son Vena. When the king was so frustrated that he saw he was unable to do anything about his rogue son, he uh, slipped away in the middle of the night and went off to the forest. So that was good for him for spiritual realization. But then the uh, thieves became prominent. Uh, the whole kingdom was now unprotected and the thieves could take over. So then the, the sages gathered what to do, what to do. Well, let's put King Vain, let's put his son Vena on the throne. Uh, so they did. And the first thing was that the thieves took off because they knew that Vena was, was cruel and merciless and he would be cruel and merciless to them. So they, they left. Uh, so that was the desired outcome. The thieves and rogues decamped. But unfortunately, uh, this king, uh, Vena, was a rogue himself. And so the Brahmins had to take the extraordinary step of removing him. And then the next king was Prithu Maharaj, who simply saw to the uh, welfare of the citizens in all respects. So that kind of king is wanted, a king like Prithu Maharaj, a king like Parikshit, uh, like Yudhisthir, uh, like so many. Uh, Prabhupada, I was listening to a lecture today, he said practically all. That was the standard for the Vedic kings that they would see to the welfare of their citizens and they would see to the God consciousness of the citizens. That was their duty. Uh, so they would protect the citizens from uh, thieves and uh, rogues. And uh, in the absence of such a king, then the citizens become uh, like scattered lambs. Uh, the King is said to be the representative of the absolute personality. Well, first, according to Srimad Bhagavatam, the monarchical regime represents the Supreme Lord, the personality of God. The monarchy itself represents Krishna. The king is said to be the representative of the absolute personality of Godhead because he's trained to acquire the qualities of God to protect the living beings. God doesn't have just the qualities of being uh, a flute player and being beautiful and being, he's also powerful. Ratangapani, he can take a, a wheel in his hand and, and go after you. He's all powerful and he's the ultimate protector. So the king is trained to be generous, to be merciful, uh, but to be strong, to be powerful and never to flee from a uh, fight. So he's the protector of the citizens. The battle of Kurukshetra was planned by the Lord to establish the real representative of the Lord, Maharaj Yudhisthira. It's so important that the society be protected that the Lord arranged for this Kurukshetra battle so that Yudhisthira would be uh, placed on the throne. Such a personal monarchy is far better than the so-called democracy of no training and no responsibility. Prabhupada, uh, again, I was listening today, Prabhupada was uh, speaking, he, he said, of course, uh, it's not very good to say, and then he said it anyway, he just went after the democracy as being uh, the abbreviated form of d demon and crazy. Uh, he was not, we grow up in, a, in, a, in an environment where, uh, or in a society where we're told that kings are, are despots, king is bad, king monarchy is like an old, outmoded, 
uh, medieval form of government, and now we have an enlightened form of government, democracy, uh, which is the worst form of government except for every other form. And so democracy is uh, what we, 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 we value, uh, our democratic rights. We'll, we'll go and send our soldiers all over the world to uh, make the world safe for democracy, to, to establish democratic regimes. Uh, so democracy is, to be against democracy is like being against the environment or being against uh, equal rights for uh, all people. Uh, to be against democracy, I mean, what could be worse practically than being against democracy, which is exactly what Prabhupada is. Uh, I don't know what, uh, yeah, exactly what Prabhupada is. He's no holds barred here. He's, he's, uh, he, he sees democracy as being a government by people who are untrained and irresponsible. From one point of view, you're untrained, that's obvious. Your training is just that you, you look good before the cameras, you, you know how to say uh, a lot of nothing in such a way that uh, people will say, yeah, great, he, he didn't say anything against us or, or he made lots of promises that sound really good. So he, he's a good talker, uh, but he's not trained in protecting the citizens. He's not trained in seeing to the actual welfare of the citizens. He doesn't know what the welfare of the citizens, he doesn't even know who he is. He's thinking that he's this body. He's thinking this one life is everything. And therefore, kamo papoga parama etavaditi nishchita. The highest goal of life is to gratify the senses. And then he gets a political post. And he uses that, first of all, he, he owes that, that post to vested interests who need to be... Uh, repaid or have their interests protected because it's by their uh, franchise that he's gotten his position as senator or congressman or president or mayor or what have you. So he's got to look after, he's, he's, he, after them, he's their representative, really, the people who paid for his spot. And uh, he's there for a certain amount of time for his own self-interest. Uh, how much money, how many benefits, how much uh, prestige, how many uh, uh, under the table deals, how, how can I make my own fortune and then write a book about it later and double my fortune. Uh, this is their, their training, how to be rogues, but not uh, how to actually protect the best interests to make the citizens happy. And irresponsible. After all, he's only there for a short time, and his business really is to loot to the greatest possible extent uh, before his term is over, and if possible, extend his term so he can go on looting. Uh, but he's not, he can't be held to account. He doesn't feel the, the weight of, of a uh, charge uh, placed upon him by God. He doesn't feel that I'm responsible to God for this duty of protecting the citizens. I'm responsible to the citizens because I've taken the position of God's representative. No, he's responsible to his, uh, his sponsors and his sense gratification. Uh, simply theft. So a personal monarchy is far better than the so-called democracy of no training and no responsibility. The, uh, yes, a monarch would, a properly trained monarch feels the responsibility and, and executes that responsibility under proper guidance from uh, God-conscious uh, advisors. The thieves and rogues of democracy, of modern democracy, seek election by misrepresentation 
of votes. And the successful rogues and thieves devour the mass of the population. Uh, misrepresentation of votes. That means by hook or crook, you, you get the votes going in, in your direction. There was a, uh, a book I happened upon. Uh, it was written by, anyway, we won't tell you all the details, but it outlined uh, during one of the presidential elections, I forget which one it was, someone had sent a memo to um, various, uh, a, a man high up in, the, in the, the party, whichever one was in control at the time, I think it was Republican, but it doesn't matter. Uh, someone high up in the party had sent a message to his colleagues about uh, winning the next election. And it included a spreadsheet of voters in various districts who were meant to be disqualified somehow or other. Uh, meant to be disqualified because there are various ways that you can disqualify a voter. He he's, hasn't been re a resident in that jurisdiction. He's been convicted of such and such crimes, whatever it is. So they had a whole list of people who were meant to be disqualified and of course, they were all people on uh, who would vote the opposite way uh, because of their demographics or whatever. And unfortunately, one of the, the parties copied to the letter was whitehouse.org, uh, which he must have assumed was the White House, but in fact uh, was a URL that belonged to a private party who then passed on the memo to uh, this journalist. So it, it showed, the point was, how they simply were manipulating the votes one way or another. Uh, in the same book, it, it showed how uh, it did an overlay of, again, the opposition party and um, the, it showed how, how votes had been uh, disadvantaged for the op opposing party. The, the polling places were put far from people's homes. There were, uh, you could be disqualified if you voted in the wrong district. So a gymnasium would have like voting places for four districts and then so many votes would be disqualified because they uh, vote, went to this machine instead of that machine. Or the votes were spiked because they were unreadable or this or that. Or and all of these discrepancies with you know bad votes, when you overlaid them over whichever party it was that was disadvantaged, uh, that was them. Uh, so manipulation, misrepresentation of votes. If we can't just say the right thing and use the media and somehow or other uh, lie and cheat and get people to vote for us, then there's always, we can fall back on this, just um, cheating uh, at the voting machine. I believe it's uh, Stalin who said, uh, it's not the votes that count, it's who counts the votes. So cheating, misrepresentation of votes, and the successful rogues and thieves devour the mass of population. Whichever thief comes out on top, dasyu prayeshu rajeshu, bakshi shanti te praja. They devour, the, they become like plunderers, not pickpockets, Prophet said. Pickpocket just reaches into your pocket and you don't realize it, but something's gone. Plunderer holds a knife to your throat and says, your money or your life. So in the Kali Yug, uh, the government men become like dasyus, like plunderers, uh, and devour the mass of population. One trained monarch is far better than hundreds of useless ministerial rogues. That's in the uh, Dharma Shastras, one of the functions of the king is to keep the ministers in check. The ministers have power and they'll also want to uh, line their pockets. So the king is looking out for the citizens. He's holding the ministers in check. But hundreds of useless ministerial rogues with no one on top. And it's hinted herein that the abolition of a monarchical regime like that of Maharaj Pariksit, by that abolition, the mass of people become open to many attacks in the age of Kali. They are never happy in an overly advertised form of democracy. I, so my father also, he, uh, those who know New Jersey geography, my father had his business in North Bergen 
uh, on Bergenline Avenue. And Bergenline Avenue goes through like eight towns in, in, in quick succession. And my, pro, uh, my father uh, said that the reason there were so many towns was so that each uh, municipal government could collect graft, bribes and, and so on. And I later saw that uh, many years later in a, a, uh, an article in the New York Times that talked about the, North, the uh, notorious governments of, of that part of North Jersey uh, and whichever mayor happened to be in jail at the time and so on. But this goes on. The elected officials uh, in a pyramid fashion, one above the other, they loot and loot and loot and loot. So that the man on the top is the biggest thief and then he has his subordinate thieves under him. So people don't become happy like this. Uh, their tax money is, is uh, their money is ta uh, sucked out of them by taxes and then spent for uh, sense gratification. <laughs> I happened to see, I've, I've stopped reading the newspapers again, but I was reading uh, when the coronavirus was, uh, you know, I needed to know something about it reading the New York Times and they mentioned that in this uh, airline bailout, the, the airline people who are now all writing to you and saying, you know, um, uh, you know we're, we're gonna be good to you because we're grateful for everything and, and we value you and we, we value our government and we wanna keep you safe. Anyway, those some same people were saying to the government, we need a bailout. And you know, this much is how much we need. If we get this much, we can you know, maybe make it. And then they said, and if we get this much, I forget the figures, uh, then our executives will give up their bonuses. Our executives, you know, if you, if you fill their pockets with the taxpayer's money, then they'll give up their, their, uh, their bonuses. So in this way, uh, thieves upon thieves upon thieves upon thieves. The result of a kingless administration is described in the following verses. Any questions or comments? No Democrats out there. Okay. Uh, Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. I was just thinking, you're, you're painting a, a very realistic yet grim picture of the way things currently are. And I was thinking of one, uh, I, I forget where this particular phrase is, but Prabhupada says, for the sane man, it is all regrettable. Yeah, for the sane man, it is. How, you, you just think about it. What the, the realm, what the reign of Maharaj Pariksit was like, a, a, a true welfare state where the king uh, cared about the people and had the power to see to their their happiness. It's so much so that if, if there'd be no excessive heat or cold, that was the king's responsibility. In uh, the time of Lord Krishna, some Brahmin had uh, his his son died before him. Uh, that was a discrepancy. The uh, the king's son died right after, uh, sorry, the Brahmin's son died right after his birth. And uh, the, the, the Brahmin went to the palace. What kind of king is this? That in whose kingdom a, a son can die before the father with no protection. That was laid at the feet of the king because the king had to be so uh, pious uh, and so uh, dutiful, that the kingdom would be ideal, and therefore ideal conditions would, would prevail. The grace of, of, the, of the Lord and the demigods would be there, the people, everything would be uh, systematic, and people could be happy. Now they're just harassed and harassed and harassed and harassed. Um, yes. So a trained monarchy, not a dictatorial, uh, irresponsible, power-grabbing monarchy, but a trained monarchy uh, with a responsible uh, king. 
um, was the ideal form of, of government. I can tell you just a brief story. In Africa, of course, uh, you, you know, the, every country has, is, is a democracy, practically speaking. And they're all, you know, even from, from American point of view, we'd, we'd look at them and be appalled at the you know, just uh, blatant theft of the rulers, of the, uh, the, the presidents and, uh, and uh, chiefs of state. It's just like out in the open. Um, I had one, we had one friend, uh, well, I'll tell you that story in a minute, uh, but we have the same thing, just we're better at it. In America and Europe, the theft is similarly going on, and in fact, at an even uh, on an even grander scale. But they're good at it. You know, they're good at covering it up so you don't see it. Or even if you see it, you, you, you know, some, now you see it, now you don't. It's some somehow they play games so that it's it's so refined that most of the time you don't even see it. Uh, how contracts are being awarded, how kickbacks are being given. Uh, you don't even, you, you haven't even heard the names of the people involved. Uh, but in, in Africa, it's, it's blatant. But the same business. Uh, but we see sometimes that, uh, forgive me again for uh, sort of liking the Middle East, but the, the kings there are perhaps uh, one of the, uh, what would you say, shadows at least of, of what a monarchy should be. Uh, the, you know, they build uh, lavish, they spend lavishly to build places of worship, and they actually see to the welfare of the citizens in so many ways. The, uh, now it's a story, we had a, a person a devotee who was placed in charge of building the uh, metro, or a, a big part of building the metro in uh, Dubai. And the ruler came and he said, my birthday is such and such date, and three years from now on my birthday, I want to sit on the, the car and go, you know, on the subway car and go. And the, the man said, at that point, everything fell into line. They needed permits, they needed steel, they needed this, they needed that. Every ministry, every department, everything in the government, it just all lined up so that the mission could be accomplished. And three years later, or however many years later, the, the king sat in the car and, and the metro is a reality. Then the same man later went to another African state, uh, this one, not a monarchy, but a democracy. And the um, chief of state gave him the same task, uh, but he was spending all the money. Uh, so the, uh, on this and that and the other thing. So our man went to him and said, uh, you know, sir, we're spending uh, so much money, we, we have a budget, but if there's a money for a, a metro station, you spend it on a park. If there's money for this, you spend it on that. How will we ever get the job done? Uh, the costs are rising, inflation, the whole project becomes more expensive, uh, everything becomes delayed. Uh, how can we, how will this go, how will we do it? And the man said, what do you got? What do you care? He said, you're getting paid. In other words, the point of the project was not to build a, a metro for the citizens. It was to have the project so that money could flow through it to the uh, friends and allies of the, the uh, head of state. Simply theft, simply theft, and in the name of democracy. The, uh, not to, to glorify the, the Middle Eastern ru rulers too much, one time I was on a train in India with a, uh, where the, the fellow across from me turned out to be from Saudi Arabia. Nice man. So we were talking a little bit and it happened to be an election year here in America. And he said, um, you know, you Americans, 
He said, our, our form of government is better than your form of government. He said, our form is better than your form. He said, every four years, you, you make all of this uh, ruckus and you, so much propaganda and you spend you know, millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars and you just elect another thief. He said, our, our, our government is better. We just keep the same thief. Uh, so, but in, in the time of Parikshit Maharaj, uh, not a thief, but an actual representative of God. Okay, anything else about this? Maharaj? Yes. Hi, right, Krishna. Thank you so much um, so far. Uh, my question is, is there any, uh, based on what you've been saying about the elections and everything, and you know, you see so much discussion going on amongst devotees, regarding who, whichever candidate they like better. Do you see any benefit at all in devotees becoming politically engaged? Not necessarily with the hope of, of being successful all the time, but in order to place the Krishna conscious slant on issues without necessarily trying to say, okay, we're gonna establish Vedic kings, but to as a sort of a preaching field, just to make things... Well, of course, Prabhupada tried that. He started yeah. this In God We Trust party with exactly that purpose, to provide a, a platform uh, for uh, speaking. He called it the In God We Trust party for purified leaders. To, and its purpose was to highlight what the actual qualifications of a, uh, an elected official or a, a government official should be. Uh, but then it became complicated because you had to have uh, uh, raise tons of money and you had to have a, you couldn't be connected with ISKCON because you'd lose your tax exempt status. And uh, so many things were there. And Prabhupada, just having pushed it real strongly and with enthusiasm, just stopped on a dime and, and shut the whole thing down. Uh, so that's a little history for you. I'll give you another piece of history. Uh, back in the time of, uh, in the 1980s, I guess it was, um, the New Dwarka was thriving. And there were so many families that, at least in terms of local politics, you could say that the ISKCON devotees could form a, a voting bloc. You know, there was, you know, a couple hundred families. So at least in terms of, you know, the local city uh, elections, they, uh, they were quite a group. So um, we could hope to influence uh, public policy. So Ramesh Maharaj at the time uh, had a campaign to get all the devotees to uh, sign up to, to vote, to, to register to vote with the idea that, you know, we could sort of have bargaining power, you know, speak to the candidates and put our agenda before them. Uh, so, so many devotees registered. And then they, they all voted all across the spectrum, everything from uh, extreme uh, liberal, progressive uh, uh, anarchists to uh, neo-Nazis, you know, it's just across the board. So there's practical problem with <laughs> consolidating your power. Um, I guess I was just wondering because we're, older and more and more sophisticated now you know I, I, oh, you're, we're older and more foolish now um the one answer to your question is that our time and energy is at this point uh, better better invested in uh, hearing the message of krishna speaking the message of krishna uh, in so many ways performing our our true function spreading uh, Krishna consciousness directly than in uh, really just talking about politics and saying what a you know rascal this one is and how this one you know this one's wet stool and this one's dry stool um, <laughs> this one would be better than that one they're, they're all fools and, and I could su suggest at least it's not stated in the text here but as far as I can see uh, the the parties, whether it's this party or that party, are, are all owned by the same people. 
let's say you're a pharmaceutical company. They happen to be one of the richest sectors in uh, American uh, corporate American corporate world. Uh, you're 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 a, far, a giant pharmaceutical country a company. Who do you back, the Republicans or the Democrats? Where do you put your money? Uh, you put your money in both, so that whoever wins owes you favors. You, you don't put your money on one side so that you're either in or out. You put your money on both sides so that you, you come out ahead either way. They owe you either way. And that's you know one sector, and there's so many sectors. Uh, but in this way, influence buying uh, is the, the name of the game. And you're talking about money like you can't believe. Uh, there's a, a, uh, a graphic someplace, no, not a graphic, a, a film showing the distribution of wealth in America and what people think it is, uh, what people think it should be, and uh, what it actually is. And people think it's something like this, you know, a gradually rising curve, rising too steeply, you know, at the higher end. And what they think it should be is, you know, okay, the curve should be there. We're not um, communists, but it should be more, you know, the, the lower end should be higher and the higher end should be lower uh, than, than, than they think it is. And then they show the graph of what it actually is. And it's like low, 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 a little higher, a little higher. And then it spikes so high that it's off the graph. The top few percent of, of uh, Americans have like 95% of the money. So people with that kind of money, they can own everything. And the rest of us just watch the, shot, the circus. You know, we, we, uh, we hear the speeches on television, we read the very serious news analysis, this, that, and the other thing. And you know, we're all busy and engaged and maybe we go out and campaign or we hold a demonstration or something. And meanwhile, the real action is up there at the top where all the money is and where the candidates are bought and sold like uh, slaves at an auction. Uh, so under the circumstances, as far as I can tell, the best thing we can do is vigorously spread our literature uh, with its hidden, uh, you know, in the midst of it, of the midst of the book, the, these uh, truths about uh, government and government leaders. Uh, vigorously spread Krishna consciousness and not waste our time uh, with really prajalpa about this candidate, that candidate, and the other candidate. Is that okay? That's fine. Thank you. It seems yeah. also, too, that if we become stronger in our Krishna consciousness, that if by chance anybody ever is piously inclined in, in politics, they would want to take advice from us, which would seem to me to be more powerful than running for office ourselves. Yeah, that also, that also. The Brahmins have more influence than the, the Kshatriyas, finally. Thank um, you. Thank you. Prabhupada's going to say a lot more about democracy. I don't know if we'll uh, complete his discussion today, but let's move ahead. Tadajana papam upaiti ananvayam yannashtana tasya vasur vilumpaka Parasparam gnanti shapanti vrinjate pashun striyo artan guru dasya bojana. Uh, due to the termination of the monarchical regime, uh, Tadajya from today, uh, and the plundering of the people's wealth by rogues and thieves, there will be great social disruptions. People will be killed and injured and animals and women stolen. And for all these sins, we shall be responsible. So Tadajya, from today, now you've, you've knocked the king out. Uh, so Papamupaiti, Anandvayam, uh, the, uh, there'll be disruption, Anandvaya, uh, there'll be uh, sins for which we'll be responsible. 
nashtanatvasya, uh, because of the uh, kingship of monarchy will be finished. Uh, nashtanatvasya, uh, vasor vilumpaka, so people's money will be plundered, and parasparam gnanti chapanti brindute. They'll uh, reciprocally uh, uh, harm one another, uh, kill one another, steal from one another. Uh, and for this, uh, like thieves, dasyapa. And uh, the word na, we, is significant. The sage rightly takes the responsibility of the Brahmins as a community for killing monarchical government and giving an opportunity to the so-called Democrats who are generally plunderers of the wealth of the state subjects. The so-called Democrats capture the administrative machine without assuming responsibility for the prosperous condition of the citizens. Everyone captures the post for personal gratification. And thus, instead of one king, a number of irresponsible kings grow up to tax the citizens. It is foretold herein that in the absence of good monarchical government, everyone will be the cause of disturbance for others by plundering riches, animals, women, etc. Um, this is, is what, we'll, what we see. Um, I, I quoted elsewhere those uh, I wrote a letter, an, an article called 9-11, um, A Distant View of 9-11. And I quoted Prabhupada has, uh, saying that these uh, so-called leaders had no other purpose uh, than their own personal aggrandizement. And that's why they build up their military machines. That's why they uh, spend millions and billions of dollars Finally, it comes down to their own selfish interests, not the, you know, and then you, then you dress it up as we're fighting for democracy, we're, uh, we're uh, making the world safe for this or that, we're advancing science, we're uh, promoting uh, the rights of women, blah, 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 whatever it is that you say, really what you're doing is you're just finding one excuse or another to, uh, suck the money out of people's uh, lives and, and run with it for your own sense enjoyment. That's Prabhupada's uh, take on your, as he said, so-called democracy. Uh, where's the prosperity? Uh, America's in debt. It used to be the most, uh, the number one creditor nation. Now it's the number one debtor nation. And in debt to whom? Someone owns that, that debt, and someone gave them ownership of that debt. I don't know all the ins and outs of it. But we're a nation of slaves. We owe, we owe billions and billions and billions of dollars to uh, whoever, banks and, and uh, creditors. And what do we have to show for it? What kind of happiness, what kind of prosperity? There's, you can go online someplace, I suppose, and they, they'll show you how much each one of us owes as, as our portion of the national debt. The numbers are, I don't think they can be verbalized. Anything else here? Uh, Maharaj? Yes. Uh, this is related to when one eighteen forty three. Yes. You just you uh, the verse you just read. Yes. Where where I find that without a king there is no protection for the citizens. Yes. My question my question is, if the kings of Kali Yuga are all thieves, how is it going to happen for Lord Chaitanya to reestablish monarchy? in order to protect his congregational movement. We'll see whether it will be reestablished or not reestablished. Somehow things will unfold, but the, the real kingship belongs to the holy name of the Lord. 
And when that uh, holy name is distributed more and more, that can change the whole atmosphere. Otherwise, just trying to get a king elected, king, you know, uh, put in, in charge, who knows? But the real thing is the, the spreading of the holy name. You don't need money to do that, to, to take part in politics, as Prabhupada uh, found. Uh, you have to have, you just spend so much money and campaign and raise more money and more money uh, to spread the holy name of Krishna. You just have to chant, distribute some books, uh, teach, uh, and that can, that can create a revolution. Uh, Viplava in, in the Bhagavatam it said, Tadvag Visargo Shanataga Viplava, the misdirected world can be changed by this uh, distribution of the transcendental uh, name and glories of Krishna. Now, how things will go, that you have to be a, a, a sage to, to know. But um, this is our, our charge to, to take this, this chanting and distribute it, take this message and distribute it. Thank you, Maharaj. I should also, yeah, anyway. I could weak government. You know, on one side you have a government that's strong and and uh, vicious. Then on the other side you get governments that are weak and 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 uh, powerless and can't do anything. Um, I'm thinking of at the moment South Africa, where the the rand, which used to be a very powerful currency, has been demoted to junk status and where no one's life or property is safe. Every home is surrounded by um, barbed wire, uh, high walls, security systems, dogs, and still people are not safe. Uh, still people are not safe because they don't have leadership that's powerful and trained. Uh, instead, you have uh, a mess. Uh, and that's, that's only one place, but uh, the, the daily practical experience there, that without a government to rein in the plunderers, uh, even the ordinary plunderers on the street, uh, the citizens are scattered like lambs. Uh, they're, they have no, no safety of, of person, no safety of property. Okay. Tadarja Dharma Pravaliyate Rinam Varnashrama Chara Yutas Trayimaya Tatorta Kama Vinivesitatmanam Shunam Kapi Nam Ivavarna Sankara. The at, at that time when the, the monarchy is, is finished, then Arya Dharma Pravaliyate. Rinam. Then the progressive civilization, uh, Arya Dharma, the, the civilization of, of prescribed duties, an orderly society, is finished, Pravaliyate. Varnashrama Acharya, Achara, Yutastrayi Maya, Maya, the uh, society of, of Vedic knowledge, Trayimaya, and Varnashramachara, of proper engagement according to, to Varnashram, all of that is finished. And that's human society. Where everybody has a responsibility, everybody has a duty, everybody knows what it is, everybody um, has to do it, everybody does it. Uh, there are rules uh, coming from uh, Shastra, and people are, are, everybody's playing their part. The, the head is there, the arms are there, the, the belly is there, the legs are there, the, the farmers and uh, make up the form, the, the real economic uh, basis for society because they produce real necessities in the form of food. They protect the, the cows. The Kshatriyas protect the people. The Brahmins give direction to the society. 
the shudras assist, they use their uh, capability to uh, help the others. No one's unemployed, everyone's engaged. And so you get a progressive society. It's not that everybody's everything, but the, the people with uh, the, the nature of, uh, of ordinary uh, servants become the, the teachers or the, the heads of state. But everyone is trained in their own respective duty. And then you can make progress toward the real goal of life. Sang Siddhi Haritosha, Krishna consciousness. But when there's when the king is is uh, when monarchy is abolished, then Tatorta Kama Biniveshatatmana. Then uh, what is people's business? Just uh, Arta and Kama, how to get money by hook or by crook and spend it for sense gratification. Uh, as far as they can see, this is the, the goal of life. Kama upabhoga parama. Uh, sense enjoyment, uh, kama, uh, fulfillment of our lusty desires. Kama parama. This is the highest thing there is. This is the goal of life. And they dress it up with things like, well, to be the most I can be, uh, to, you know, whatever it is. But really, it's just a life where everything else is out the window. Uh, dharma is tossed. Moksha is tossed. And it's just uh, artha and kama, uh, making money uh, and spending it for sense gratification. And the result is shunam kapinam. The people become like dogs and monkeys. And Prabhupada explains uh, what that means. Uh, as the monkeys are too sexually inclined and dogs are shameless in sexual intercourse, mass of, of population born of illegitimate connection will systematically go astray from the Vedic way of good manners and qualitative engagements in the castes and orders of life. It'll be a society of bastards. Yeah. Children who have, uh, they don't know who their parents are uh, or their parents are, uh, you know, everybody's divided up this way and that way, uh, where the, the, the mothers are prostitutes, the, the men are, are woman hunters, the children are accidents. Uh, dogs and monkeys. Sex, 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 and sex. And the, the children are just byproducts of, of the program. Um, the Vedic civilization's destination is to go back to Godhead, where there's no birth, death, old age, and disease. To uh, not to remain in the darkness of the material world, but to go towards the light of the spiritual kingdom. Uh, the Vedic way of life does not allow any man to be like the monkeys and dogs. A degraded civilization of sense gratification and economic development is the byproduct of a godless or kingless government of the people, by the people, and for the people. The people should not therefore begrudge the poor administrations they themselves select. So this is Prabhupada's take on democracy, a government of fools, by fools, for fools, uh, by unfortunate people, uh, for unfortunate people. Uh, it, look what they elect, just, yeah, you know, it's not Democrat or Republican. Uh, they're all uh, degraded men. Uh, you, you know, they, you're, you're the big, the, uh, one of our presidents, revered presidents of, uh, my youth, when he was killed, they named every street, you know, every town had a street named after him. Uh, he was known to the, and he, you know, he's, he had a beautiful wife and uh, the famous picture of there was with little children under his executive desk. Uh, but the press corps used to call him Mattress Jack because he, he 
bedded down practically every prostitute in, in the uh, District of Columbia uh, with some movie stars and others on top of that. Uh, you, what kind of leadership is that? Um, and that's not a unique case. I just happened to bring him up. Um, but so many. Uh, what kind of degraded civilization? Uh, and you, you, you look at, that, that you, at your leaders and you think these are the ideal. No, these are the representatives of God. Give me a break. Dasyu prayeshu rajasu. They're just like plunderers. Uh, and the result is that the society just becomes a, a, an animal society, a society of dogs and monkeys. Uh, and then the purpose of human life, Krishna consciousness, is lost. So such a responsibility is given to us to spread Krishna consciousness. Um, that's our, our duty. Um, okay. There's a question. The monarchy is better than demon crazy. What would the king do in the present circumstance of coronavirus? He would take charge and, and do the needful. He wouldn't. <laughs> He wouldn't be, uh, he, he'd be better than our man, let me say that. Um, you know, you can't take your, first of all, your um, coronavirus is traceable to what? Uh, to, to wet markets in China. Uh, some, there's a video on krishna.com that draws the reasonable connection between animal killing and the, uh, viruses of all sorts, coronavirus included, uh, because these viruses um, arise and the, the, the professional literature is, is quoted. They, they come from, from animal contact. You're, you're running your slaughterhouses with so many animals packed in, in, in horrendous conditions and filthy conditions, and you slaughter them and then you, you bring the meat to these uh, markets. And then you're surprised that you have uh, killer viruses uh, spreading around the world. What do you expect? So the, the, the proper Krishna conscious king wouldn't wait for the reaction in the form of, of coronavirus. He'd get to the root of the thing. Close these slaughterhouses. Protect the animals just as you protect the human beings. If you have a society of, of uh, dedicated to sinful principles, there must be suffering. So that you overeat, you, what's gonna happen? You'll get indigestion, you'll get sick. Um, <laughs> any doctor will tell you that. That you, you live, you know, you smoking, for example. Uh, you, know, it, you don't have to be a a sage, everybody knows smoking causes cancer, smoking causes lung disease, smoking causes this, smoking causes that. And yet smoking uh, is big business and it's allowed to go on un, unhindered, practically speaking. And then the reaction is there and then you have to pay for the reaction, uh, not only in the form of, of death and suffering, but in the form of you know, spending so much money to uh, treat cancer patients and do cancer research and you know, start here uh, even you know simple thing uh, even if you say we can't abolish smoking abolish all advertisement simple thing like that that you can't advertise any tobacco product anywhere not on a racing car not at a, on a football uh, field not in, in a, uh, a magazine, not in, on a, in a newspaper. You, you can't advertise it. People want it. They go to you and pay, and pay for it, but you can't advertise it. You can't even put it on your, on your window that this is the price of cigarettes because it's killing the, the citizens. And it kills your agriculture also. All that agricultural land wasted on this weed that could be used for growing food grains and uh, 
the real needs of civilization. So uh, uh, Chris, in short, a Krishna conscious king would not wait for the sinful reactions to overtake his kingdom. We see that the, the Maharaj Prichit, we saw signs that uh, things were weird. People were doing things that weren't, just weren't done in, in a civilized uh, kingdom. Envy was, was creeping in, cheating was creeping in, intoxication was creeping in. What is this? He went out to do something about it. He didn't wait until everything went to, to the dogs. He, he got to it, he saw, it. here's this Kali, drive him out. Drive him out. So that's, that kind of king is wanted, that kind of ruler. Decisive, powerful, not owned by vested interests and truly responsible for the welfare of the people materially and spiritually. Okay, we're at five after nine. Good time to stop. Thank you very much, Maharaj. Wonderful, uh, insightful, and uh, this is very applicable to how we should understand, how we should think about our situation. And it really gives us so much, um, and Prabhupada's four ports in the way you highlighted, it, it really uh, makes us think very deeply and how much Prabhupada has already given us and that we just take it more seriously. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. On behalf of our temple, I'd like to thank you. And uh, I'd just like to add, just see how Prabhupada is, um, you know, it's not just about um, spiritual, uh, you know, being spiritual and, and uh, godly, but politics is there, uh, government is there, the science of everything is there in Srimad Bhagavatam. You just don't get this from the New York Times. No, it's incredible. And not just one particular science, but it's like how they interact with each other. Like, you know, human mm -hmm. psychology and social dynamics, economics, and uh, I mean, it's everything all combined and synthesized so perfectly. It's incredible. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so on behalf of our temple, I want to thank you for, uh, for continuing and giving us these nectarian classes. Um, so Mondays, Wednesday, Fridays, at the same time, the same channel, kindly join us uh, on this continuing lecture series on the first canto. Uh, tomorrow, which is Tuesday, we have His Grace Dev Kinandan Prabhu of Juhu, India, who will be speaking on the topic of Krishna is here, why fear? Um, and then on Thursday, we have Amarendra Prabhu. And then on Saturday, we have two speakers in the afternoon at 1 p.m., we have His Holiness Sachinandan Swami speaking from Germany. And then at 8 p.m., His Grace Gauranga Prabhu uh, speaking from India. And on Sunday, we have uh, Her Grace Rukmini Mataji at 6 p.m. So we have quite a lineup already. So please continue joining us and uh, allow us to serve you in this way. If you have any questions, please send, you know, you can go to our website, it's kind of New Jersey, uh, org for any updates and uh, all the videos of all these classes are being uploaded on our YouTube channel. So you can get all those details on our website. It's kind of new Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you. And today Tomorrow. people have joined from Australia as well as Portugal and other parts of the world. Yes, Portugal. Hare Krishna. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you.